Good morning, everybody. Um, as long as I'm still waking up at 4.30 in the morning to film these videos, there's probably just going to be a cup of coffee in the corner of the shot because, you know, I'm human. Today we are doing uh, August 2021 Plan With Me. And I, just this morning, because I never think about this in advance, uh, decided that this will be my inspiration. This is a roll of washi tape I got from the 99 cent bin at Michael's one day. Love at first sight. Um, so black and red basically, but like, but a cool red, I don't know. So here's a couple of other washi tapes. This one has blue instead of black, which is frustrating because otherwise it is very similar. Um, and we're just gonna jump into it. I have a few pens here. I thought I would go crazy and use a Tombow Duel. Um, and I think that that might work. It's crazy. I might be ruining everything. That'll be fine. All right. Let's just do this real quick because this is all I'm going to do with my dashboard here. I, um, I used this last month. I can show you. Um, and I think I can tell you I filled it out too soon. I think I need to fill this out on like the 15th to give an impression of like what's, what I'm actually doing for more of the month. Cause I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna say I'm watching something, but then like I started watching something else. So, um, that's, oh, I know. I just toss a little bit of a, I just toss something in the corner. Is that too, that'll do. Okay. And that calls, it's called decorated. Okay, I think I might fast forward through the decoration. It's old school. That's what I used to do around here, like every single time. Um, I'm using the grid monthly insert 33 from my shop, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna get started um, by paying a lot of attention to the numbering because I always mess that up. Uh, do a little bit of decoration and then we'll actually discuss the planning aspect. All right, let's jump into the actual planning portion of this morning. <laughs> what was that evening for some reason? That'd be, that'd be something. So I, um, I whipped up another of these like weekend plans things. And so there are, there are some, but nothing really that's set in stone yet. So we're just gonna be looking at my future log. Here we are. Um, let's see. Oh. 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 Sorry. This is a holy day publication, but it falls on a Sunday. So it doesn't even matter. I guess I'll. Yeah. It's a, a holy day publication, if, for those of you who are not Catholic, is a day other than a Sunday when you have to go to Mass. Um, and so, you know, you have to know when they're coming up so you know when to look for when the Masses are going to be and all of that. But, um, yeah, I don't because it's Sunday, so we're going anyway. <sighs> Sometimes I wish that some of these cute stickers would fit, but, like, I'm going to use one of these. My daughter's going to preschool. And um, that's happening here. I 
I'm just gonna put like this little guy. Maybe. Is that stupid? I think it might be because there might be things happening the week before. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's fine. I'm gonna put, um, I don't know. You know what? If it's gonna start looking cluttered and dumb, yeah, I'm not gonna put that there. And uh, no, I don't remember where I took it from on the sheet. Yeah, I think maybe I will just try to make things uh, a bit understated. Is there? There sort of is room here. Okay. And then how do these fit? They may fit. So, I think it's one of these. Uh, stickers, I've been trying to sort of show them on camera, are from Twin 16, um, Mad Hatter Sticker Co. This one's from Planner Kate. That's where I get all my stickers. Um, let's see, so the 18th here, and I think I can just kind of go like this. Yes, that's correct. Yes, yes. I have to take that day off. Go to a friend's mom's funeral. Just cover up the date and write it back on there. And let's put a little dot on the 19th because that also we have the meet the teacher evening at school. Uh, let's see. Then, yeah, that's not happening. We were going to go camping the weekend before school started, and I'm just like, yeah, no, let's not bother with that. Um, so I'll just put the rest down here. Um, will I put, yeah, I'll put the other little red dot here on the first day of school itself. Oh, I know, I'll put the little dot here. And write the date on top of it like I did with the other one. Because it's like an all day thing. Or it's like a, you know, red letter day. Or whatever they... Is, is that the thing? What does that mean? <laughs> like, where does that come from? Red letter day. Is that is that the Hobonichi thing where it's like Saturdays are red? Uh, that's probably not what that means. Alright, that doesn't look too cluttered, right? Just a little bit. A little bit of something. I'm just going to fill in the rest of the dates real quick. Um, I guess I can fill in even the ones that I marked up. School starts instead of first day of school. Then, yeah, there's a school mass the day before. We might try to go to. We the school is at a different church than the one we go to usually. Um, and <clears throat> let's see. I, so everything on here is like in the same two clumps. Um, I'm. Gonna, I should, or I did kind of show this in my flip through video, but this, I'm not going to show it mostly on camera, but this is the um, semester calendar or year calendar for the school. Um, so I just punched it and like folded it up so it fits in here and take it off camera again before opening it up uh, to see what other dates might be. Yeah, nope, nothing else. Uh, let's see, noon dismissal on the 27th, but that really doesn't even matter. Because uh, I am not the one picking them up. Her, them. Her. Them. Because um, fortunately, our babysitter's kids also go to the same school. So that's basically why we picked it. Also because we liked it. So I, um, I don't think that th this calendar is the best place to mark it. But I can tell you I actually finally did do a level 10 life yesterday to sort of give myself some time to think about goals and stuff. And I picked a monthly resolution for August, skipped a couple of months there. Um, and now it's time as the tail end, this always happens, right? Like in the middle of the year, I'm like, eh, monthly resolutions. I'm too busy for that. Um, but I am going to try not to pray daily rosary, but just one decade. 
Uh, but I, I feel like I need a place to sort of track that, but I'm not using a tracker. I haven't in like, I don't know, almost a year maybe. And um, it's, you know, I don't want to have a monthly tracker just for one thing. Uh, so I'm not sure where to put it. Let's see. It is a big month for birthdays. And I pulled out my birthday stickers, my little balloons from Planner Kate, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Uh, because that would just get too busy on here. And the floral, I feel like the balloons would be a little bit too cartoony for that. But I'm going to keep them handy um, in my drawer so that I can use them on my weeklies, maybe. Um, but I will go ahead and mark them all. Um, maybe with a little... Maybe I'll just write on the days. So this is... really hope I have these right. I feel like at one point I had them wrong, but I think I corrected them if I had them wrong. Both of my in-laws' birthdays and also their anniversary are in August, so there's a lot of celebration that happens. And then, let's see, this is my sister-in-law. And their anniversary as well. That's crazy. Actually, it feels like they've been married for longer. And I wasn't even there at their wedding. Maybe that's why. Because it feels like that they've just been married since they got engaged. But uh, let's see. And next, I'm going to look at my recurring tasks. This is insert 17 for my shop. I said 20 something. It is not. <laughs> this is an older one. Uh, let's see, June, oh gosh, June, okay. Uh, I think, to, I assigned something to my husband. He's in charge of the fridge water filter because the one time I did it, uh, it didn't go well. So, <laughs> he is in charge of that now. I'm going to put here is where I'm going to put freezer. Fresh. These are like the little cleaning tablets for the washer and the uh, the laundry machine. Want that's the washer and the dishwasher, and then uh, yeah, and then the charcoal bags, which I still haven't bothered to like research. I don't know why. It wouldn't be that hard to actually just Google it. Uh, let's see. Oh, toothbrush. They'll be excited. Um, Girls toothbrushes. I just try to get into the habit of changing them out because they are cheap. It adds a little bit of excitement and also keeps things clean and effective. So there you go. All right. Gallery photos. I'm, I'm, this is a new addition to my monthly to dos. These are the uh, sometimes there's like actual photographs on listings for inserts on my shop and. Uh, that's what those are. I add them periodically, mostly off my Instagram feed, so it's nothing new. If you follow me over there, you will have already seen all of the photos, but they just kind of give some context. Um, and if you ever have photos of your inserts that you use from my shop um, that you think would make great, you know, highlights of how they work and all of that, I would love to be able to feature your photos in those galleries too. If you tag me on Instagram, I might, and I like them, I might uh, message you and ask if I can use them. And you know, I think that's basically it. Um, if I have more to-dos, I can add them here. But honestly, I only really look at my monthly like once a week when I'm setting up my weeklies. Which speaking of, here is, here, here is what I'm using for this month's um, weekly planning. So I have been using the foldouts, which actually I just realized I haven't printed, but I've been using these foldouts um, for my weekly to-do list. And I like that. I'm going to continue to do that. But um, as I was filming my like favorite dailies video, which I'll link in the corner, um, I was talking about how I sometimes enjoy using just like the occasional daily and like picking it the day of the day before um, to suit the purpose, um, and these are all the dailies that I released in the shop uh, last month, which I'm going to be doing a whole video on next week 
So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and hit the bell. Um, so anyway, the point of this is I was thinking about that. I kind of like that concept of being able to just pick and choose and mix and match dailies. But um, what I really do need then is some sort of weekly. And so I am going to be making more weeklies in my shop soon, but um, not yet. I was thinking maybe like a what day a week on a page, but I don't have one of those. <laughs> yet and I have a whole schedule of what I'm releasing so that's not going to happen for a little while. Anyway so I'm going to be using this split weekly. This is insert 20, uh, sorry insert two, <laughs> insert two for my shop. This is the guy that started it all. Um, this was the concept that I came up with that like launched the idea of selling my own printables so definitely a throwback there. Um, so it's got Monday through Friday on one side and then Saturday Sunday on the other and it does oh it has a tracker so I can use that for my rosaries there we go um anyway so I needed something just like a place to put some things in advance if I couldn't put them directly onto a daily so I'm going to have these weeklies in here so it's going to be the fold out which I still have to print out then this guy then um whichever dailies I decide to pick so I printed out just like a set of all the different ones from this last month and then I also have the other ones that are already in my shop and then there's also the weekend here, and so those will all fit sit inside here. And then once the weekend week is over, um, I haven't been like printing my weeks back to back lately. Um, I don't know, so it kind of it's like a sandwich with everything in one place. It's not like they have to be modular. Um, I'm not going to be necessarily moving them out, but I could. I generally like to keep all of my weeklies for a month together when I like archive. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm planning on doing and as always I think two weeks from now will probably be the weekly plan with me video So you'll get to see how it's working in action once I've been in it for just a little bit um, And in any case, I think this didn't turn out too bad. I think uh, This actually is not too bad of a highlighter even though it's a little bit dark And it goes well with everything So there you go. I don't know if they still sell this washi tape at Michael's but um, I think all these stickers are still available from their respective shops and uh that's it. I'm going to stop talking now and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye.